What's going on dummies? It's your favorite streamer and content creator Coco for days. Today I have some big shoes to fill with my last game review being Marvel Avengers. Card should pop up in the video god knows where. But today I will be reviewing Kenna Bridge of Spirits aka Kennedy's nuts fit in your mouth? Nah, seriously. Kenna, Bridge of Spirits. So this game was developed and published by Ember Lab. Kenna, Bridge of Spirits is an action-adventure video game. If you can picture Breath of the Wild on steroids in terms of graphics, that's pretty much what you get. As the story unfolds, Kenna is a young spirit guide. It helps move deceased people from the physical plane to the spirit realm using her magical abilities. This game is viewed from a third person angle as well, but you do have free control of the camera. In the game, Kenna is capable of attacking enemies with her staff and defending against attacks using her pulse ability. She gets like a full bubble shield around her and stuff too, it's pretty baller. As the player, we are tasked with collecting small spirit companions known as the Rot. Now, they're not mold, they're not some hideous looking creatures, they are adorable. They are so cute. If you head to my TikTok, there is a first impression reaction video. They are so cute. They're little, they're so little and adorable. I just can't get over it. Anyway, the Rot are used to fight enemies in ways of restricting or distracting them, but they are also used to complete tasks, pick up rocks, get them to move it around and, and all that sort of stuff. So they're a multi-function thing. So a little bit about the game studio. It is led by brothers Mike and Josh Greer, who are, well, I guess, co-founders of Ember Lab as well. The brothers have spent several years creating commercials and branded applications and decided it's time to switch things up and they got the development team G'd up to create a video game. They partnered with Sony Interactive for a console exclusive deal, lol jokes, still came out on PC, suck shit Xbox, thus allowing them to grow the team to 15 core members. The game's art was created in collaboration with Vietnamese animation studio Sparks, and its fictional world is inspired by eastern locations such as Japan and Bali, which you can tell by looking in the game environment. The huts and everything are inspired by a, of a Balinese sort of background, but then when you look at all the shrines and everything, it's got that traditional Japanese look to it as well. The original score was composed by Jason Galati, Shout out to if I uh, mispronounce your name, bro. Who collaborated with the Balinese ensemble group Gamlin Kardamani to create respectful Gamlin music. In my opinion, the composers did a stellar job and it's one of the things I thoroughly enjoyed about the combat scenarios. The drum beat just goes from like a nice chill do 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 to like do 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 And honestly, it just, it adds that dramatic effect to the game. You just go from being like, oh yeah, I'm chilled, relaxed, I can vibe to this, to holy shit, we're under attack. And and you'll see when, in some of the footage, when I'm in combat, I stuff up some of my bow and arrow shots, and it's simply because I was, I was that immersed in the, the drum beat that I'm like, holy crap, think fast, think fast, think fast. A little bit of a game synopsis. Kenna, Bridget Spirit's story takes place in a fictional location that is not her home. The main village of the game acts as the game's central hub. A tragedy struck hundreds of years ago which forces it to be abandoned at the beginning of the game and Kenna works to improve the area as the story progresses. Kenna is a spirit guide as touched on earlier and offers to help the spirit for move from their difficulties in one life to a peaceful one in another. In the game, Kenna will explore the traumatic experiences caused by her father that left a scar from her hand to her shoulder. In addition to learning about her past, Kenna helps brothers Saya and Benny, uh, and then also helps Taro, who is a restless spirit, and later you find out that it's Kenna's brother. My only critique is that 
this game got boring after two hours. When I live streamed this game to get a feel for it, you could tell that, you know, I was bored at that two hour mark and I was like, you know, what what am I going to do? I, I wanted to keep playing it because obviously I wanted to do the review, but at the same time I'm sitting here going, man, what am I doing? Also, shameless plug, go follow me on twitch.tv forward slash Coco for days and tune in for my live streams every Tuesday, Friday, Sunday, and the occasional Thursdays as well. All in all, I did enjoy this game. I give it about seven and a half out of 10. I would give it a higher rating, but I got bored. So it's it to that. The, the Game Studio did a fantastic job, and if they were to release any more games, I, I would definitely be jumping on pre orders and everything like that. Ember Lab have a very promising future ahead, and especially with the, the graphics of this game. So thank you all for watching. Make sure you click the like, sub, ring the bell for more notifications. Drop a comment because it's good for the YouTube algorithm, apparently. And stay tuned for more videos. Peace out. Love you all.